A Virginia family sickened, but it wasn't salmonella. Doctors say they were poisoned, and something behind the walls of their brand new home was to blame. Fox 5's Tisha Thompson investigates. The Ming family spent nearly a million dollars to build what they thought would be their dream house. But less than two months after moving in, Wendy Ming started to have such severe migraines and dizziness, she ended up in the hospital. thought I had a brain tumor or adrenal gland cancer. Um, there were many different things. They tested everything because they couldn't. They could see that I was so sick, but they couldn't figure out why. Her younger daughter started having uncontrollable nosebleeds, while the rest of the family developed asthma. Doctors finally diagnosed Wendy with neurotoxicity. The Ming say her body was full of poison, caused by a lethal combination of microscopic mold growing behind the walls of their home. Challenges with the new home, obviously, is the last thing you're going to think about. I mean, you look at the walls, the walls are white, and you don't see any obvious water stains. The Ming say the home is now too dangerous to enter, but you can see through the windows how it's been ripped apart to get to the source of the problem, which they say started when their builder, the Dries Company, didn't wait for timbers to dry after it rained. What you want to do is make sure that the wood is not still wet, because that's what they did. They covered up the drywall and the insulation over the wet wood, and all the experts agreed that if you in encapsulate or cover up the wet wood, it's going to allow mold to grow. Everything they owned was contaminated and had to be destroyed. They now use borrowed furniture and a rented home as they wait for the Dries Company to pay the $4.75 million they won in a lawsuit. You know, it's a, it's a huge amount of money. Um, we basically just want to restart our lives. We've lost our home. Um, you know, we've lost our health. I'll never be well again, and neither will my eldest daughter. And no amount of money, she says, will ever let her buy back something so priceless. In Loudoun County, Tisha Thompson, Fox 5 News. The Dries Company did not return calls for a comment, but the Ming's lawyer says the company has not yet paid that $4.7 million and plans to appeal the case.